Hey everybody, how we doing today? Perfect day in the Florida Keys. And the reason being is it's about an hour or two before low tide. It's excellent. I uh, found the, uh, the edges are kind of dropping now, so that's going to force the fish out. Uh, we got some decent sun. And uh, the other good thing is the mullet have kind of moved out of this area, so uh, the water is clear so I can see stuff. So I'm going to be working this edge and uh, seeing if I can find some fish. And we're going to catch them all bunch of different ways today. So let's check it out. There's still these uh, pockets of mullet around, so looking to maybe uh, cast net one or two for bait. And I want to take particular action in this area because... Uh, where this bait is, usually there's some bigger fishes hanging around. All right, I saw this mud in this little channel here and I can see all the dimpling, so I just want one or two. I've got my pole with a weighted circle hook waiting for some bait, so I figure I might as well do it now before I get in the fishing zone. Make sure this net is all oh, disembobulated. Like that, get that cleared out. We should be able to blind cast and get a few here where all those bubbles are. If not, maybe catch a redfish or a snook. Oh, I got something bigger than a oh, it came out. I had something bigger. Oh, it came out. What the heck happened? They snuck under from the mud. All right, let's do this again. Oh, I need one. There we go. All right, we got a bunch. Way more than I need. Oh, no. Caught my net. All right. Let's catch some fish. All right, so I'm just gonna throw a couple of chunks. Just have them just sit right there, take that scent out, see if we could pull anything out of this area here. And I wanna watch the channel on that side cause they'll come up and down this hole right here. Let's see what happens. Oh, I see a glass grouper just went down in there. Oh. There he goes. I guarantee he's got it. Oh, there he's got it. He's got it. Just sitting there. It's gonna go, I'm gonna just gonna go back to the bushes. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> no, no, no. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, oh, fudge, dang it. I can see the bait sticking out of his mouth. Still in the corner of his mouth. How did the heck? Yeah, his toothies must have cut it. Dang it. He smelled that bait and came out after it. Dang it. All right, let's get a tarpon real quick. Get that out of the way. I'm gonna utilize the schmino I made. While there's just a little bit of current left, make sure everything that's gonna snag me is out of the way. This should go pretty quickly. There's a couple right there already. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's a redfish. I got the redfish. Ugh. He's in the mud. He's trying to hide in the mud. Oh, 
I know you're in there. Not gotcha. Oh, come on. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, he's got me wrapped in the grass. Oh, and he pulled off. He went underneath the grass, dug underneath there, and then now my line is stuck. Oh, God. How did that happen? I got the redfish. I was throwing out the, the, uh, the tarpon. All right, let's put a chunk right inside here. I saw a redfish already came out and uh, looked at it. Uh, something's playing with it already. Those might be snappers. Oh, something's taking it already. Oh, get it out of there, get it out of there. Oh, get it out. Oh, that's just a nice mangrove. Oh, there's my snook. Dang it, get, get out of there, get out of there. Nice snapper, wrong species. Golly, this is a nice snapper. Shh, quiet, quiet, quiet. Golly, look at that dog. <laughs> big boy. The weighted circle hook. But then my big snook just came out of there. Oh, that's the weighted circle hook. I think that's 132nd, 4 aught. <laughs> all right quietly quietly swim away quietly that's not quietly all right let's try that again i see some tarpon around i don't want the tarpon i want that snook or redfish probably need to throw a couple more chunks in there Oh, there's, oh, that's a tarpon, two tarpon. Oh, did something pick it up? Yep, something picked it up. Oh, something let it go. Something picked it up. There it goes. Oh. And it broke it again. What the freaking frack? All right, I gotta go up to 30 pound leader. It's either in their gill plates or something. Just sling, just kick. All right, I'm gonna go to 30 pound. Dang it. All right, my strategy, I found a little cut that I wanna work. Cut a head and the tail that I'm not gonna use for bait. Kind of get some scent in the water in that vicinity there. Oh, there's already a tarpon showing up. Then I've got the all about the bait weighted circle hook because I kind of want to make sure it pegs it in that actual hole. And then a chunk of mullet there. Want to make sure that that hook is exposed. You don't need to hide the bait really. And then I'm going to pitch it back in that hole. Oh, it scared those tarpon, but that's okay. See what else shows up here. Oh, I think something's, I think something's got it. Let it take it. Oh, he's way inside there. Oh no. Oh, is that another big mangrove? Oh no, it's a redfish. There we go. Got my red. Red is done. Two spotted red. Nice red. That's how we do it. Get away from my anchor line. Get away from my fly line. Got him right perfectly in the corner of the mouth. Hear him thumping. 30 pound buddy ain't going nowheres there we go Alrighty. 
get him in there. Bump, bump, bump. Oh, there goes my snook. Shoot. Greedy Steve. But uh, that is the that is the weighted all about the bait circle hook. Perfectly pegged in the corner of the mouth there. Nice dual spots. There's a nice beautiful red. Check. Two spots. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. You ready? And he's out of here. Oh, there he goes. That's how we do it. Cut mullet. All about the bait mullet. Oh, what are those? Oh, those are tarpon moving in there. I just seen their tails. Oh, something's got it. Oh, it spit it. No, it's got it. Someone's got it. Oh, there we go. There's our tarpon. Nope. No going back in the hole. Bam! Belly flop. Oh, broke it. Dang it. That one cut my 30 pound. Golly. Yeah, he just chafed it through. Man, these are guys are rough over here. All right, let's see if we can get one of these guys to bite here. weeds on there. Dang it. I see the weeds. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Rolled on it. There it goes. There he goes. There he goes. Right on the tip of the mouth. Come on out here. Rub your belly on the grass. Oh, crap. God dang it. Taking that thing off my rod holder and not looking and of course, Ba bam comes right off. Tarpon are making me angry. I need the time to work on the snook. Don't have time to be messing around. Right, there's a bunch of tarpon over there. Got a big chunk of mullet. See if any of them will eat it. I think something's got it. There it goes. Get out of there. Get out of there. Little baby. That's okay, you count. Yay for me! Tarpon done. Where are you going, buddy? Oh. All your friends are there laughing at you. 
Got them right in the button. Perfect hook set with the weighted circle hook. That right in the button. There we go. Perfect hook set right there in the nostril there. Comes right out. We got a little tarpon done. Not the snook. Good. Yeah, young and dumb. You good? Are you hiding? All right. Snook time. Oh, there he goes. He looks like a snook on the flat. There's a couple of tarp in there. Oh! Missed it. Oh, he had it. Oh, god dang it. He was just swimming with it. Golly. Rookie move, Steve. Golly. There's a bunch of tarp on in here. See if any of them will attack a gurgler. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's pissed off. He is angry. Yes, he was not happy. Gurgler, gurgler. Alright man, you gotta stay out of the trees. No tree jumping. Come on, you're cutting into my snook time. We got snook to catch. I think I got him hooked kind of weird. Holding on though. Come on. I gotta go snooking. Snook snooking. Oof, that wasn't good. Alright. Alright. Don't jump. Please don't jump. Oh. Can't see where I got gotcha. you. There he goes. Stop turning upside down. Oh! Try to crotty me. Don't do that. There it is. There it is. The Schmino at work again. Boom! Stab me. Alright. Young and dumber. You're alright. Grabbing on your mouth is not so good. Good? Yeah, he's good. Alright. Next step we need to catch a snook, and that's what we're gonna be looking for on the ultra flats. So we're gonna go run down the edge. The water is like really low right now, but so it chases all the uh, snook and redfish and these guys out of the mangroves and they'll kind of lurk on these shallow flats and just sit there in a little pothole. So I got to go real slow and try to eyeball them before they eyeball me. So uh, we're done with these tarpon. All right, so for the snook, I'm going to try to getting them on the flats. So what's happened, the water level, as you can see, it's exposed out there, it's low. So the uh, mangroves are all above water. So it forces all the fish out. So Primarily you're going to see a snook, redfish, and then all these mold are in here. But there's a, a kind of a trench that follows the edge because that's where the, the main current runs. So that's kind of deep, but even then the water ends not too far in. So they're kind of forced to work their way out. 
And then what will happen is that the redfish and the snook in some areas will run out of these, especially when there's not a trench, and go out and try to find a little pothole. And they basically just sit out there in the flats until the water level gets high enough again for them to go back into their safe dwelling way deep in there. So I'm just going to just kind of cruise along this edge and then just look for the dark spots even out there and then uh, try to cast to them. So uh, let's see what we can do. You can see right there, I just kicked that out. That was a redfish sitting in this trench. Just didn't spot him in time because it's all milked up a bit. And that's why I got to go really slow and just keep scanning all the way across to kind of get them so I could stop and cast to them. You can see where it's all mudded up there. That's as far as that uh, they can go in. But when the water's two foot higher, they go all the way across the island. So that's why they're all forced out right now. I just got to spot them before they spot me. Look right there. I can't move. That is what we're looking for. Nice size snook. Let go, damn it. Where did he go? Ah, dang it. That's exactly what we wanted. The majority of this uh, side that I've been working, I really couldn't do much because the mullet was... There's a bunch of mullet schools that got forced into these holes and... mudded up everything front of me. He's looking at me. Oh, right there. He's going away from me. Oh, that wasn't good. Can't see him now. Same deal. He's just kind of just coming and then sees me and just stops and just watches me. Didn't spook real far, so I just can't see because the glare. It's there. God dang it, stop, stop, stop. Oh, shoot. As soon as I tapped the ground, it spooked. I bet you there's more there. Look at all these. Poom, poom, poom. Those are all redfish. Dang it. Moving too fast. Got to slow down, slow it down. I think I stopped in time. Yeah, oh, right there. He's right there. You go way past him, so. Oh, you didn't see it? Dang weeds. Oh, I spooked. Dang it, dang it, dang it. That was my snook. Oh, I didn't have the push down into the weed to guard. I caught weeds and spooked them. Dang it, that was perfect. Saw him before he saw me. Dang it. Hey, smile. Key deer. Oh, made it. Just brutal. That low tide, it got so low that uh, there's sections I had to jump out and drag my uh, kayak across. And then there was areas that were like over my knee in silt. So I had to basically just like, oh, two steps, drag the kayak, two steps. Then I was using my paddle and I'd have to like lift up my weight onto the paddle so that the kayak would come up a little bit and then drag it. And then, oh, it was horrible. <laughs> I actually drank all my two liters of uh, water, which I, I normally don't drink any water at all, but I drink all of it. What do you want? Rudolph, no food. Unless you want mullet chunks and a weighted circle hook. But we're done. I'm going home. I think I'm going to pee gold dust. I'm so dehydrated. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Say bye. Bye. Ooh, look at that tail. I tie flies now. See ya.